Hey guys, today I'm filling my winter makeup must-haves for 2023. I'm so excited to share these products with you. I have way more than I thought, but I forgot just how many favorites I had in December and December feels like eons ago. I can't believe it was just a few months. So these are my best of the best from this past winter. And I believe all these products are new. I don't think that anything was rediscovered for me. Some of these things I love so much that they did make it into my yearly favorites because I knew if I would wait a whole other year, I'd likely like forget about them perhaps. So I will have my yearly favorites linked up in the cards in case you're curious. So I'm gonna start with face products. I had two blushes I absolutely loved. I don't love the packaging of the MAC Mineralize blushes i find them challenging to open sometimes but this is the mac mineralized blush and gentle this is a beautiful like raspberry color blush it looks so soft and smooth on the skin very pigmented this blush has been out for forever and i don't know i was just never interested in this until it came up in 21 days of beauty and i thought let me give it a try i'm so glad i got it it is so beautiful and really does add something different to my winter blush collection and then we have the new benefit blushes and i was able to see a sneak peek of ulta 21 days of beauty the benefit blushes are going to be included which is amazing these are great quality for half off highly highly recommend them and if you like intense colors or you have a deep skin tone i would definitely recommend moon now this is really intense on my skin i do have to use a light amount of product to go in with a light hand but this color is stunning i love them so happy that benefit redid their whole blush range because there are a couple shades in this range that i think would be incredible on deep skin and this is one of them next i have a highlighter that i fell in love with this is the hills from ofra this is supposed to be a lighter version of rodeo drive which is wonderful because that's their very popular golden highlight that's always been too deep for me so this is just a gorgeous golden champagne and i have moon dance from the madison miller collab i have star island which is a little bit lighter and i don't know why i just like this one better than those others so really happy i was able to pick this up and for a good price but oh for highlights do go on sale at ulta during 21 days of beauty usually like once a year and then Ofer does a really good black friday sale if you want to wait that long then i have this sigma holiday cheek duo from last year it's still available definitely keep an eye out i'm sure it will go on sale and sigma has sales all the time so never buy anything full price from them but this is called the glisten and glow cheek duo and i initially was worried this would be too dark for me and it is pigmented but again going in with a light hand they both work for me and they're incredible i don't know why but i feel like the sigma highlight formula in the duos is like easier to pick up on a brush than the singles i don't know why i feel that way but i do but this is something that i was super happy to add to my collection it also does come with a brush which is really nice and i have one brow product this is the kosas brow pop pencil i'm also using their brow gel both in the shade honey blonde the brow gel is good but i like the benefit gimme brow better but this brow pencil i think is really good i didn't even realize how much i liked it until i did the video on how much of my collection would i repurchase i'll have that playlist linked for you and I think that the shape of this pencil is fantastic because it isn't a micro pencil, but it's not as thick as the Benefit Goof Proof. So I feel like this would be really good to fill in a little bit more at once than the Precisely My Brow or Brow Wiz type of pencil, but not so thick that someone with small brows couldn't use it. And you get a ton of product in here it feels like i haven't had any issues with it breaking off it draws onto skin and hair really nicely this honey blonde shade works really nice for me it is a warm tone color but what i realized i really liked about this is because i have an issue where because i have oily skin because i'm drawing pencil on my skin and because i wear glasses sometimes the inner part of my brows kind of wipes off by the end of the day and I realized I don't think that happens with the Kosas. I think it does stay in place pretty well. 
which I love. Honestly, this is really good. They do come in a lot of shades and the shape of this I think is perfect. And I was really, really happy with the way that it stayed on my skin. Next, I have so many eyeshadows to share with you. I will start with some singles. This first one is a little sample shadow from Natasha Denona. I love whenever Sephora comes out with these and they usually will do one for each of her palettes. And I just love them because this is really great packaging for a sample shadow. And this is the color Thrill from the My Dream palette. It is a really pretty duochrome shade. It has like some coppery tones, but then also some peach and some pink. It is so brightening and beautiful on the lid. I absolutely love it. And Justin did just buy this palette for me for Valentine's Day. But I don't know, I might want to hang on to this single and maybe try to pan it or something in the future. But it's stunning, so very happy to have that palette. But if you see this come up as a little promo code on Sephora again, because sometimes other palettes, they will come back. Scoop it up, girl. It's so good. And it really does come with a decent amount of product, 0.4 grams. And if you guys have tried to pan an eyeshadow, especially a shimmer, it takes a long time. Then some of the other shadows that I have in here would be the M Cosmetics Dewy Shadows. I know a lot of people didn't like these when they first came out. They creased on me a little bit, but not as much as I was expecting because I do have oily lids. And the two colors I have would be Wish and Star Child. There are others I like. I would consider it if they went on super sale. I know at one point they did have like a fan favorite, like 40 or 30% off, something really good. And that was before I had tested these or else I probably would have bought some more. So the packaging is beautiful. These come with a lot of product. They're so smooth feeling on the eye. They feel like a putty shut up, but they applied pretty easily. They really just made my lids look very bright. I ended up really loving the looks that I created with these. I will link my Instagram makeup of the days down below for you. Then I have these eyeshadow duos from Auric. This was a holiday set from a couple years ago, but I believe these are still available. Auric is hella expensive of a brand, and I don't think I'm gonna buy any more, at least of the shades they have right now. So the way these shadows are is that you have a cream shadow on the bottom. This one is Disrupt. This is a like cranberry burgundy color. And then you have a powder topper shadow. This one is a duochrome. You can see it's a little peachier there. And then you've got that hot pink magenta. Stunning. And then the other one I have is called Entice. So you have like a deep forest green. It's olive, but dark, but it is more warm tone. So that's the cream color. And then I was kind of scared of this because the topper is a what looks like a white color, but it does have a gold flash to it. So when you combine them, it does look like a golden olive shade. Thank goodness, because that's what I was really wanting. I love the looks I created with these as well. Not as easy to use, but they're not super complicated either. Basically, you know, you can't just slap it on and go with the colors that I got, but I was impressed with this formula. Then I do have four of the five MAC Shade Shifter Duochrome Eyeshadows. These came out holiday 2021, I believe. I'm still trying to not allow myself to go diving online for the fifth shade to complete the collection. I'm trying not to allow myself, but who knows? But these shades are so good. I was able to get all of these at a CCO, so definitely go check. So it has the red packaging with the candy cane swirl lid. So the purple one is called Calling Your Bluff. The neutral one is Right Before Your Eyes. The green is Ho Ho Hocus. And the blue is Perplexing. So all these are really beautiful because they do have a lot of really intense base pigment. You do have that duochrome shift. They apply really nicely. Definitely one of the best MAC products that I've tried in a while. And then moving into some more palettes, I have these two mini Natasha Denona palettes that I wore a ton this past season. I kept them in my little everyday makeup basket and I pulled these to use as mattes with a lot of a different shimmery list shades either coming from palettes or singles. So I got a ton of use out of these. 
So first we have the mini love palette. I love this shimmer shade here because it is a duochrome, but I use the color R, A-R-E, as my crease shade most often. Then we have the mini crush palette. This was limited edition, but all of these shades are available in other palettes, but I loved using these two here. This is the color Lotus, which I used as my transition shade, and then Koi, which I used as my outer corner color. The matte formula on these is just incredible and those shades work together so nicely. Super duper impressed with these. And then my larger palettes are all from Indie Brands. This is the Odin's Eye Merry Christmas palette. I've said it a million times, I'm still kicking myself for not buying the blue Christmas E one. But the shades in here are so beautiful. You have lots of different formulas. This one's a bit more chunky. This one almost feels like a putty. And then you have some of the like standard shimmer formula and the mattes are really nice in here. The duochromes really do have a nice strong shift. So depending on the mattes you pair with it, it would pull a different color. I created so many looks. I used just about every shade in here except for this one. So I was pretty happy with that, but this is really fun and unique to my collection. Then I have the Kaleidos Astro Pink Palette. This has been out for a long time, but I was late to buying it and then I just tried it this month actually. I used all the shades except for this black color but wow these metallics are so stunning on the lid i love all three of the mattes in here i only was able to come up with two looks but i love those two looks so much that i'm totally fine with that and kaleidos has a really phenomenal formula i'm hoping that they will release more palettes this year i know they've been doing quads a lot recently but i want this size or preferably like the escape pod size the 15 pan palette Next we have to wear my lids today. This is the Adept Cosmetics Minka palette. So these shades here and these three are all very chunky metallic shades. You will have a little bit of fallout, but they still have a lot of binder to them and almost feel a little bit sticky when you put your finger in there, which helps to intensify them. They're so beautiful. And then these are two very creamy duochrome shades. And then you have these two mattes. These perform very nicely. I do think there's a really big difference in depth between these two shades, which I guess is a good thing. And they go well with some of the shades in the palette, but you can tell like some of these are a little bit more warm tone, but that's fine. I would rather have more shimmers than mattes anyway. This is super special, really happy with the formula and these colors. I didn't get to use all of them, but I've used a lot of them and I would definitely keep my eye out for more launches from them this year. And then the palette that really blew me away is the Give Me Glow Cosmetics 2 Moods. You can see we have four different quads here. The mattes in here perform really well, but these metallics are out of this world. They do look so shiny and beautiful on the lids, so pigmented. All of these shades were so easy to work with. I definitely am going to keep an eye out for their launches this year, and I might want to pick up some singles. I feel like the pan size is a little too big. I would rather have smaller pans and more shades, but this is a beautiful palette. The only thing that sucks is that it's so hard for me to store, but... The packaging is super cute and I love all the colors. And my last eye favorite is a pencil liner. This is from Persona in the shade Plum and it is a beautiful purple liner. And hopefully you can tell here that it's not brown or black in person. I really can tell that it's purple, but it isn't like super bright or pow i love this i used it so much and this does stay in place pretty well on my waterline lower lash line something that i'm so happy i added to my collection i also have the bronze shade and really like it and then they do also make a brown and a black but very very happy with this liner it went with so many looks then for lips i only have a couple products the first would be these three makeup by mario moisture glow plumping lip serums and these are the new cream formula so they don't have any shimmer in them these three shades are super similar you don't need all three but i couldn't pick which one i liked best this shade is petal glow then we have blush glow and last is rosewood glow we have petal blush and rosewood it almost feels like pink peach and more mauve but very similar this is a formula that is very melty so i would say swipe on the top lip and then pat on the bottom lip and you will have enough product in color but hopefully not too messy i like that formula more than the tarte maracuja juicy lip i feel like that one 
is just extra messy and then like a little thick and goopy feeling. This just feels smooth and creamy. I love that menthol-y scent and feel to them. They're really great. I have six shades now, three of the original and then three of these creams and I feel like that's enough but I love the shine they give. They do make your lips look fuller and those three shades I think are so beautiful. And my last lip product is the Buxom Flom Plumping Lip Matte in Dolly. Their classic mauve color. This is their newer liquid lipstick formula, but it feels like a mousse because it doesn't completely set down, but it looks and feels so comfortable and it does have that cooling sensation which I don't know how they did it to a liquid lipstick it's very unique I have this one and then more of a neutral nude color called chill night Ulta does sell a duo pack of those in minis those two shades highly recommend you guys go pick it up and try this formula it's really special I love it and I wish they would release more shades because the other ones aren't really my vibes but probably good I don't need to go crazy but this is just a really unique formula and such a pretty shade that I would highly recommend so guys those are all the standout products that I discovered this past winter I am so excited to start wearing my spring makeup products and testing new things to review for you I would love to hear your thoughts if you've tried these products in the comments down below and I would love to know what your standout products from this past winter were thank you all so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon Bye, guys.